Hello again and welcome back to the channel. As always, it is awesome having you here today. Quick reminder that if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. It costs nothing and it helps out immensely. Uh, another big clerical note, as you can see, I don't have my usual background because I'm in the back uh, with a different cat who will probably not be jumping on the desk, but you never know with cats. They are uh, pretty awesome creatures. Anyway, more importantly, uh, actually, let's be honest, nothing's more important than my wife or cats, um, but uh, my cat wife. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, we have Bowman, and this is a blaster box, and the rumor going around is that blaster boxes are fantastic, not just because they're Bowman, but because of uh, awesome poles that can be had. Let's see, it's, let's see if it's not just a rumor. Let's see if it's a fact. So... Uh, there's odds and stuff. I'm not gonna go through all the odds. Let's be honest. I used to do the eh, it, the font is just like three point three point font eh. Five there's six packs. It says five packs plus an extra pack, but you know, let's be honest. That's six packs I'm not a math major. Uh, I'm not a major of anything honestly, but uh, that's six packs 12 cards per pack 72 cards per box uh, We're looking for a monster one of one Autograph would be nice a uh, first Bowman chrome uh uh, Austin Martin autograph would be amazing. A Blaze Jordan parallel autograph would be amazing as well. Uh, so it would be a Baum autograph, a Tatis autograph, a uh, Mike Trout autograph. You know, if you're going to ask for uh, the moon, then ask for it and see if the universe is listening. More importantly, see if the universe is willing to uh, provide you with that which you seek. Anyway, as I always like to say, you are just one pack away from greatness. So let's pull some crazy first Bowman Chrome autograph one of one fire. Let me know how things are going in your corner of the universe. Uh, also, let me know if you've opened any Bowman, if you've had any success pulling some cool cards, if uh, things are just bleak street, if 2021 is just, I don't know. If it's just, whatever. <laughs> anyway, first card out of the gate is a Philly. Shout out to Rob Hirsch and uh, RJ Collect Sets, who are both big Phillies fans. There's a Bryce Harper. Uh, next is Yadi Molina. Shout out to Positive Breaks, who's a big Cardinals fan. Next up, we have Francisco Lindor, uh, Haas of Cards, Connors Cards, Costa Rica Card Collector, Boston. J.D. Martinez, uh, we got Bearded Collector, Zero Below Cards, Ethan's Elvis Covers, and more. A bunch of other uh, Boston fans. Orioles, um, Austin Hayes there. We got an Evan White for the Seattle Mariners. I know Don't Talk to Robots is a Mariners fan, and his brother, Flying Dutchman Cards, is also a Mariners fan. Uh, Flightless Dutchman Cards is still not flying. Also, uh, Northwest Rips. Kyle's cards, Schultz's card pulls, um, run good life. I don't know if Average Dave is a uh, Seattle fan. Uh, something old, something new, card rips. Anyway, Texas Rangers next. We have Leody Tavares, rookie card. I'm trying to cram as many shout outs as I can, as you can tell. Uh, Mets, we got a Tim H. We have a Growing the Hobby. Um, ooh, hello, we got a number. No way. Are you kidding me? First pack out of the gate. It's a Yankee. Hello, Hedgehog. Hello, Double T. Hello, Gem Mint Chris. Um, oh my goodness. So this is a first Chrome Yankee, Kevin Alcantara. But if you can see here at the bottom, it is numbered out of 499. First Bowman Chrome numbered out of 499, Kevin Alcantara, right out of the gate. Let me get it in the top loader. Um, Man, I should really get better. Uh, I should get those those slightly thicker top loaders. Slightly thicker top loader would be nice. Okay, it doesn't fit perfectly in there. I gotta get it in there though. That's crazy. See, you gotta get the slightly thicker top loaders. There we go. Look at that, super cool pull. And then we have uh, one of the big prospects uh, for the Texas Rangers. First Bowman paper of Maximo Acosta. So that is cool. Um, and then we have a George Kirby and a Luis Garcia. Just a regular prospect card for the Philadelphia Phillies. So that was quite the first pack. Still can't rule out getting an auto. Of course, I didn't even look at the odds because I don't want to look at them. I'm going to be honest. I don't want to look at them. 
Jazz Chisholm for the Miami Marlins. Shout out to Ollie Moon Collectibles. He's a Marlins fan. He's one of, I think, Palm Beach Sports Cards. Possibly Blue Rock TV as well. Possibly. Not sure. Detroit Tigers. Sticks G. Big Tigers fan. Striker Breaks. Also a Tigers fan. Brainiac Baseball Cards, I believe. Trying to fit as many as I can here. Benavi Garcia for the Yankees again. Again, uh, Hedgehog. Gem Mint Chris. Arana Boys. I'm not sure if now and then pack balls, but uh, anyway, there's a bunch of different. San Diego Padres. There's SD Card Collector. I think Striker Breaks is also. I know Paco Acosta also mentioned San Diego. Ooh, there's uh, Corona Wars teammate. Luis Campisano. There's a green back there. I hope that's a green autograph of Austin Martin. That would be insane. It is not, and it's not an autograph at all. It is a Clark Schmidt, but it is numbered. It's a green numbered card of Clark Schmidt, and it is numbered, in case you're wondering, to 399. Again, it's 399. Let me get it. Try to get it in the top loader. It's not as thick as one of the Chrome cards, so it shouldn't be as difficult to get it in there. But, uh, man, super cool to get a numbered card. We got two numbered cards out of two packs, which is pretty bonkers. Pretty bonkers. We have a Keybird Ruiz. Um, CV baseball card collector. Uh, shout out also to Lillis Rips. Uh, who else is a big Dodger fan? I'm going to apologize. I missed someone. So there's a Jackson Rutledge Chrome, even though it's not a first or anything. I'm going to sleeve it up because I always like to sleeve up the Chrome Aruskies. Um, I don't know. I'm going to call him a clone, Chrome Aruski. There's a White Sox. Uh, I'll shout out to Fulton on Foils. First Chrome, by the way. First Chrome of Yolbert Sanchez. Super cool. Gilbert Sanchez, the White Sox, Fulton on foils. Uh, also, we have Big Mike. is also a big White Sox fan. Uh, I'm not sure if Oscar Opens Cards is a Cubs fan or a White Sox fan, but Oscar will let me know. Oscar will let me know. Anyway, there's an Acuna. An Acuna. Uh, Nathan R. is a big uh, Braves fan. Adam's card closet as well, and Mike's baseball card review. Also, Michael Heath. I'm running out of uh, shout -outs. Brewers cards forever, of course, is a big Brewers fan. I uh, know he's a Cubs fan. No, a Brewers cards forever, of course, a Brewers fan. Steve Rodemacher. We got the A's, uh, Rad Dad, and B Dog. Kyle Lewis. We have a Scherzer, RBA Sports Cards, is a uh, big Nationals fan, as well as me. I'm a big Nationals fan, although this year it's hard to cheer for that team because, goodness gracious, they, I feel like they used up all their I said, mentioned this before. I feel like they used up all their luck in 2019 and uh but you know i'll take some more luck they better sign soto and uh trey turner i'm telling you mackenzie gore for the san diego padres we have a chrome of trevor larnack for the minnesota twins uh we're gonna go with a shout out to comedy nachos sports cards who is a twins fan nick lodolo uh luke diamond you get a shout out here and same with klein bell's sports cards uh he is a big Fan of the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, got Robert Hassel. Don't hassle him. Uh, don't hassle him. Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, N.W. Stang. You're a big old Kansas City barbecue sauce Royals fan. Maybe you're just a fan of Kansas City barbecue sauce. But I know you're a fan of the Royals as well. I don't think you mentioned barbecue sauce. Breaking news. He hasn't mentioned barbecue sauce on his channel. But he's an awesome dude. He's N.W. Stang. <laughs> I'm gonna beat that. I'm gonna beat that barbecue sauce joke into the ground. I don't care. I don't care. Any anyway, Chris Bryant. Uh, we have Cubby Poles. We have Don't Talk to Robots. We have Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. There you go. Uh, Oscar opens cards, possibly also a Cubs fan or a White Sox fan. I don't think you can be both. I don't think it's like legally allowed. Can you be both a Cubs fan and a White Sox fan? Not really sure. Bobby Dalbeck, rookie card for the Red Sox. The Sox. Ooh, there's a Christian Pache. I already did, uh, I already did my Sox shoutouts. I already did my... Uh, my Braves shoutouts. Did my LA shoutouts. Here's a Kiebert Ruiz. I thought it was Kybert, but it is Kiebert. In fact, I was corrected by some uh, announcers who was pronouncing his name. And I, I imagine the announcers knew how to pronounce his name better than I would. Um, let me focus more on the cards. There's a Patino, who is now with the Tampa Bay Rays. Bobby Catalano is a Rays fan. There is a Pirates talent pipeline bus driver does not have a channel but uh he is a pirates fan Arr! john sports cards um 
does have a channel and he's a Pirates fan. Oh, I forgot the Tigers. Other than Styx G, um, there's uh, Great Lakes Breaks are, uh, are both big uh, Tigers fans. Minnesota, Keon, Keone, Kavako. I'm going to have to make some room. I got three, like what, a couple more packs and uh, I got no more room. I got no, I have no more room. Goodness gracious, English, English. Okay, let me, uh, let me make some more room. You know what? Let's make some room for uh, an Austin Martin autograph. An Austin Martin autograph. I know I'm whispering. You hear that, universe? You hear that, universe? I am whispering. I know you've given me great things in this blaster box so far, thus far, if you will. Um, but you know, let's not let's stop the luck right there. Uh, we'll put these bad boys in the corner. They didn't do anything wrong, but they'll sit in the corner anyway. Um, think about what they've done. Anyway, uh, two packs to go. And like I said, you're just one pack away from greatness. So let's pull one of one autograph fire. I know. Asking for big things. There's a regular trout. Shout out to Classic Cards, who is a big Angels fan. Luis Castillo, Cody Bellinger, who's been injured almost the entire year. There's a Josh Donaldson. Look at those throwback twins uniforms. An Aaron Nola. Anyway, LSU Maniac is a big uh, fan of that team. There's an Asa Lacey for the Kansas City Barbecue Sauce Royals. Those Futurist cards are super cool. Not really sure if they hold any value whatsoever, but they are cool. Houston Astros. Um... The Houston Astros. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just totally blanked that. There's a Jaron Duran. Oh, there. First, first Bowman card of Blaze Jordan. Blaze Jordan. He's one of the big prospects. I wouldn't mind an autograph of his. Have not pulled one, but I would. Uh, I would not turn one down. You hear that, Universe? I would not turn one down. So we got one more pack. They might call it Last Pack Magic. They might just call it Last Pack. But we're one pack away from greatness. So let's uh, let's make the magic happen, if you will. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Time to do some shoutouts for the old Blue Jays fans. That Oilers fan, 1981. Muskoka, Card Collector. Jays, Mix, Shaw, Racing. Collects Canadian card breakers. Um, I'm sure I'm missing someone, and if I am, I apologize greatly. Freddie Freeman, the Tanner Houck. They say that if someone has like a Bowman rookie card, um, but not a Series 1 rookie card, then you can be on the lookout for them in Series 2 or update. So maybe Tanner Houck, maybe Sam Huff, maybe. We shall see. Dalton Varsho is in Series 1, he is in the bigs. As it turns out, um, Reed Detmer is coming up for the Angels' top 100 scouts. He's number 83. Uh, I mentioned one at one point. Who do you think is number one? I think someone mentioned it was Wander Franco, which I don't is not surprising. Um, but there is a top 100 scout, Clayton Beater. He'll beat you to the plate with a fireball, fastball. No, um, there's a Dodger. There's a first Bowman Chrome of Addison. Or sorry, Adinso, Adinso Reyes for the Tigers. <laughs> Sticks G, Great Lakes Breaks, Brainiac, Sports Cards. And then going to finish things off with a Rocky, Carson Tucker, and an Emerson Hancock. So I got to say, we didn't get any autographs, but man, uh, let's go over the recap. We got tons of stuff. Got some Chrome Magic. Got a whole bunch of rookies. What I love about Bowman is you get, you know, you get the first Bowmans. You can get cool, cool Chrome cards. You can get rookies. I mean, there's just tons of cool things that you can get. As you can see, there's numbered cards, which I will go over at the end. They both happen to be Yankees. Um, what if they had both happened to be Trouts or Tatis cards, huh? So, big two. Out of three ninety nine Clark Schmidt Green, and then a four ninety nine first Bowman Chrome of Kevin L. Cantera. Not a lot of Kevins out there, by the way. Just in case you're wondering, in the whole universe, there's not a lot of us out there. Anyway, oh, just realized they're not even on camera. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. I did. Uh, take care and uh, have a great rest of your day. Hit that subscribe button.